Well, good afternoon, everybody, and uh, this is a great week for families who have been struggling under the weight of President Biden's failed energy policies. Uh, for all families across America who are sick and tired of paying too much for gasoline, 40 percent more since Joe Biden took office. And for all those hardworking families who are sick and tired of paying 20 or 30 percent more on their household electricity bills, the good news is House Republicans have listened and help is on the way in the form of the Lower Energy Costs Act. This is a great bill that we're bringing to the floor just two days from now, where we're going to show the country how we can actually become energy independent, how we can lower costs for families, combating the biggest threat to families, and that's inflation. All of these bad policies that Joe Biden's pushed the last two years have had a deep, deep negative impact on families in the form of higher prices. And there's no reason for it. There's no reason we should be getting energy from foreign countries when we can make it here cleaner, more efficient, and at a dramatically lower cost than anywhere else in the world. This bill achieves that. I've got a bunch of colleagues up here that I'm proud to bring up because they've all been a part of bringing the lower energy cost bill to the floor and are going to talk about what's in this bill that's going to help those families who have been struggling and who have been waiting for too long to finally get somebody fighting for them in Washington instead of what President Biden's done to stand up for whether it's OPEC or going and begging uh, Saudi Arabia or Putin for our energy. We don't need to do it. We can make it here better than anywhere else in the world. Uh, one of the leaders in the fight uh, from the great state of Texas on the Energy and Commerce Committee, August Pfluger.